Guys, welcome back to part 8 of the Sonnet 2. So, in part 7 we took out Brenna Ashworth. I believe she was one of the lieutenants of Delilah. So, going to get into part 8, guys. Um, thanks for staying with us. Let's do it. For several years, Delilah's been here. Getting stronger. Turning people against me. Why didn't I see it coming? What was I doing during that time? Pretending to listen at court. Ruling through an army of bureaucrats. Waiting for the next chance to get free of Dunwall Tower. Well, now I'm free. If only I could go back. Aramis Stilton was once an ally of the Duke. The owner of Karnaka's mines. Stilton lived in a fortified bunker at the heart of the Dust District. No one's seen him for years. Since around the time Delilah started making her moves. But whether Stilton's alive or dead... His home holds the key to Delilah's immortality. So something about Stilton and the Dust District? Guess we're, yeah, we're waking up in Megan's ship. Okay, what do we got here? So did we always wake up in this room. So apologies for the game being so long, guys, but the cutscenes are like averaging at about a minute each. Um, so I'm trying to be in as inclusive as possible. Let's go to the uh, main area. Make me take care of myself. Listen to me. Make it. I need to know why Delilah can't be killed. Everything we've learned implies that something strange happened at Aramis Stilton's home three years ago, but then he disappeared. Stilton lived in a bunker kept secure by a fancy lock made by Jindosh. Maybe inside you'll learn more about how to stop Delilah. But I have to get there first. Through a ruin created by the Duke, where my father grew up. Megan had an intriguing idea. Paolo is leader of the Howlers. He wants Vice Overseer Byrne killed. And of course, Byrne wants Paolo dead too. Both groups will attack you on sight, but walk in with the corpse of their chief enemy. And they'll treat you like family. You think they'll help me get into Aramis Stilton's home? I'm pretty sure that will work. Okay, so we've taken a Paolo on the left. That's not going to be Seeing good. Seeing this place and these people, I can feel my perspective changing. How will I be different after this? It's very similar to Dishonored 1. We also had uh, kind of discussions with um, Howlers. So we need to look for Vice Overseer Byrne, maybe. The Vice Overseer for Karnaka, Liam Byrne. Okay, let's have a look around here. What do we got? Anything of interest? Just got a note there. Okay, it's just a workbench. Let's go back up to Megan, I'm guessing. Not here of interest either. Let's talk a lot. Megan left a note for you. She's going to meet you. Where was it? Go somewhere. I'm sure you'll find her. Ready now? Okay, so Anton's taking the uh, the role of Megan. Ready. Let's go. I'll get you as close as I can. Who was the man I'm after? Aramis Stilton? An ally to the old Duke. Loyal and smart. Stilton helped build modern Karnaka with those silver mines. Started as a miner and worked his way up until he was a prince of industry. But now the new duke drives the mine crews night and day. Dust falls non-stop onto the district. What was once prosperous is now in ruins. I suppose the duke doesn't care. As long as he sips from silver cups. And what are the cups at Dunwall Tower made from, Empress? In any case, you'll have to pass through the Dust District to reach Stilton's home. Maybe he's still in there. Or maybe he's dead. Interesting. Adios, Santon. Once you reach the dust district, she'll tell you more. I'll wait here with this skiff and take you back to the dreadful whale after you finish. 
Okay, so we're going to Stilton's Manor. Um, we've got a stairs here. We've got, let's uh, the crown killer is waiting, is watching. We've got to go up this way. See anything of interest? Okay, we've got some cross bolts and we've got some some health. That's uh, that's an interesting. Hope. Got anything else here? No, it doesn't seem to be. Okay, so. Let's move on. Okay, so Batista Overlook. Let's have a look and see what we've got here. Okay, we've got a wall of light. We've got three guys there. Let's go for Blink. We're losing Good soldiers blinded by that hallucinogenic powder the house. Then stabbed to death or dragged down by the Abbey's. Okay, I'm just wondering if I could walk on this. Oh Christ, that's not good. Let's see if we can um, somehow get up to the top there of this uh, building. Yeah, we can. Oh, bollocks. So where's the wall of light is uh, being powered by this windmill over here? I'm just uh, power. Oh, the power cable is coming up from up to here. <coughs> so, okay. These damn windmills in my sleep. Hello. It's you and me now. Adios, amigos. Where the fuck are you going? That's your last mistake. Take this guy out. Before he um, tells the others where I am. Okay, so we've got a dust storm. It's gonna play to our advantage, I would say. In some regards, I guess. Um, okay, let's see, can we blink up here? Okay, so it's periodic, this dust storm. Okay, so the wall of light is disabled. Um, okay, let's see what we've got next. We've got pistol bullets here. Okay, I don't want to fall down there. It's hard enough getting up here, so. Oh, fuck! Who's there? You're not supposed to be here! No, you That was uh, an accident. <laughs> Oh, shit. Hoping that he's not going to find me, so let's uh, let's hide in here. It's one way to be uh, non-strategic. So that's a kind of a fail. <laughs> Still got through the wall of light, but yeah. Okay, these guys seems to seem to be a little bit uh, less. Uh, Let's, let's worry it now. So what do we got here? We've got the heart. Let's, uh, let's see what we've got. Any ruins around? Okay, we've got ruins 73 meters away. So let's go back up here. Christ. So can we jump over here? Want to kind of reserve um, white blink? And the howlers can't. Paolo has a price on Burns' head. And the vice Okay, nothing in here. So, gotta go back out again. So, I'm just trying to find out where I'm supposed to go here. I guess so we've passed the wall of light, but whether we have to go straight or let's have a look here. What do we've got? Yeah, I'm guessing we have to go back into this, um, to this building. I'm missing something. Maybe it's up top there. Go 
Oh, they gotta go a bit further, maybe. Okay, I've got open windows, maybe we have to go out through. Do we open windows there? No, we don't. Oh, we've got a door, so. That's what I missed, let's talk to Megan. I've been doing reconnaissance, talking to people. The overseers and the howlers have divided up the district. Just ahead is neutral territory where no one will harass you. But further on, the howlers and the overseers both have boundaries set up. And beyond those points, they'll attack you on sight. Aramis Stilton is the real goal. Sokolov said you had an idea. Yes. I believe that if you take out Paolo or Vice Overseer Byrne, the other one will grant you safe passage and will help you get inside Stilton's home. Neutralize either one of them and bring him to the other. What else do you know that might help me? Byrne is protected by the Overseers. Paolo has the Howlers, but I think he's also got some kind of black magic charm. They say he's got to die twice before the sun sets, or he can't be killed. Good luck with that. So that might be, um, that might help us because I, I killed Paolo already. So uh, if he has to die twice before the sun sets, then we're going to get some help with that. So we've got the neutral zone to the right. Um, let's equip the heart. This is the Duke of Circano. Got runes there. Been told that people are complaining about okay, so we've got runes 72 meters away. Yes. I think we're going to go for that, kind of get some special powers. Okay, so we've got uh, some people there to the, to the right. Okay. Let's, uh, let's keep up top. The blood flies there. Put the heart. Okay, runes 38 meters away. So let's see if we can um, get away from any of these guys down under. So got two people there. Got windows up top, so that might help us out. Okay, gonna keep away from those guys. They they look like howlers. Um, let's see, can we? If there's a way up to. Okay, let's uh, go over here. Let's see, can we get up there? Maybe we can blink up to the. To the window there. Okay, fuck, that was a fail blink. Shit. Sort of might have worked out to our advantage. I'm inside. Where's Paolo? Okay, have a look here. Okay, we've got how many meters to the ruins? 12 meters. Christ. Nine meters to the ruins. I'm hoping that they're inside this building. Okay, here we go. Show yourself. Okay, so the ruins don't seem to be um seem to be there, seem to be down under in the other room. Holy shit! Hey! You! Give us what you got! Okay, just taking out that guy. Put up top a little bit. It's getting a bit uh, tricky in here. Shit. Okay, maybe it's in this room here. The 
This must be Paolo's place. Okay, here we go. Let's take these rooms. Talk to the overseer. In case you're wondering, Paolo's not one of those unhinged cultists who believe I will grant them favors if they leave a big enough offering or play just the right musical notes. He doesn't care a fig for me. But he put up this shrine because he found the hand of an old witch I knew once. And Paolo saw right away that it pays to have an edge. Sometimes, pieces of us linger long after we're gone. The Duke of Circanos inherited a vibrant city and wasted no time stripping it to the bone. What will he leave behind? And what about you? Who will you leave to pick up the pieces here in the Jewel of the South? Guess we're gonna get another power now. Let's uh let's take a look and see what we've got. Okay, acquire power. Let's uh let's have a look. So powers, and uh, we're gonna go for double ganger, summon a shadow of yourself that attracts enemies. Oh for sure. That's um that's for sure gonna be interesting. So we're gonna go for that power. Guessing that we're gonna have to take out this uh dude Paolo. Let's have a look and see where he is. We've uh, already taken him out once. Do you remember in, I think it was part five of the game. So, um, let's uh, make our way down here. Okay, I've got a guy there. I want to be careful. Almost 25 meters away. So there's Paolo here. Uh, looks like a bit of an Irish gathering, so I'm guessing we're going to have to take him out somehow. Got like uh, different ways to go here, so let's see what we've how we're gonna take him out. He's walking away there. He's on his own, is he? What is wrong with this? Alright, I'm stepping away for a moment. Don't drink all the rum while I'm gone. Okay, let's uh, see where he's going. He's gone down the stairs, is it? What are you out there thinking, vice over us, The question is if we've taken him out or not. Um, okay, so he's still alive. Oh, bollocks. That's the first time that we've taken him out. Okay, just wondering if there's a way to um, avoid going back to where we came from. I bet this one's carrying coin. Okay, so we're back in the house, are we? Yeah, let's have a look and see. Got another. Another door. Okay, kind of got a little bit uh, caught out there. So, I'm gonna head up, uh, upbound. Let's just bring this back out again. So we've gotta get Paolo. He's walking around, he's got 11 meters away. Where we were. I'm going to just open this crate and see if there's anything of interest. So we've got a pistol bullets which are full. Oh, and we've got a looks like a blueprint, is it? Yeah. Oh, got some gold. I'm going to take that. It's going to come in handy.
So Paolo is, okay, walking around, taking it easy. 10 meters. Okay, Paolo's around to the right there. Um, I'm thinking of just gonna go in, flaring. What's going on? Coin. Just want to see if we've got to take out these guys. Just Paolo. Like Adios, amigos, bitch. Let's go for what we got. Got um, got the gun. Let's finish. So we've taken Paolo. Let's loot him. What? Fuck is that? Got a new bone charm. Let's uh, see if we equip that. They're all coming up now. Fuck you, bitch. God, that's rough. So, um, we have to carry him. Christ. Where do we have to go now? So, we have to go to the Overseer Outpost. Um, I'm guessing that's where we have to bring Paolo next. Okay, so the Overseer Outpost is 111 meters away. We're looking to see what we find here. Okay, to accept for larger work on the history of the overseers, so it's something that we're not really interested in at the moment. Crossbow bolts. Okay, let's set. Let's uh, we'll see if we can get over here. Yeah, there's the dust. Take advantage of that. Fly is through there, so. We took advantage of the dust. Don't make me search this whole place. That area, so time for that. Just want to see um, well, 68 uh, meters to the don't you know who's the outpost. Okay, I'm just wondering if at last someone's brought down the cursed leader of the howlers. This guy gonna let me in? Okay, so we've, uh, it looks like we're going to make um, friends with the uh, Overseers. They were a sworn enemy in the Sonic 1. A dead heretic. But the white cloth. Huh? Somewhere put a stop Good on hmm. uh... Okay, let's, uh, let's have a look over here first. See if there's anything of interest. Handle there. Just always looking for um sort of uh, uh, pickpocket this guy. Yeah, we can take his coin. Pickpocket this guy. Yeah, pickpocketer. So let's uh, let's move up again. Go to the vice overseer. Checking that for I didn't see the one that yeah, we could sell. She was quick. The howlers are cowards, brother. But we accounted for six of them. Okay, nodding of interest here. So he's uh vice overseer is um 
to the store here. But it's a gut wound, as bad as any I've seen. Better this than a day or two of agony. Vice overseer. Is that Paolo? This is unexpected. Do you have any idea the good you've done? With Paolo out of the way, I've got big plans for Kanaka. I've heard about you and your ambitions, Vice Overseer Byrne. But for me, this was a means to an end. Does the Abbey remember its friends? Yes, we do. And our enemies. What is it you want? I need to get into Aramis Stilton's home. Now that's a curious thing to want. There's something very wrong with Stilton's house. It's actually a great concern to me. I need to know what happened there. Help me, and you'll benefit again. Thanks to the Duke, we've lost our proper place here in Karnaka. And we've been fighting just to hold the streets against the heretic Paolo. But you stopped his black heart for me. And for that, I'll give you what you want. I'm listening. Interrogating one of the Howlers? We learned that some of them knew how to open up the Jindosh lock and enter Aramis Stilton's home. Probably just Paolo and a trusted few. What you're looking for is probably connected to why the Duke had Karen Jindosh seal up Stilton's home. All right, then. This might be the most worthwhile visit I've ever paid to the Abbey. I'll remember your help, Vice Overseer Byrne. As will I, Assassin. Take our friend here away. So we're gonna enter. Um, we're gonna try to enter uh, Stilton's Manor. Uh, we've got some information from the vice overseer. Um, I'm not gonna pickpocket him. Stilton's house is cursed. Look after yourself. So we're gonna leave it there for today. If you enjoyed the video, um, just subscribe. We're gonna continue on with the next part. So no good talk to you later, guys. Putting aside the strictures. Only madness and death. Remember that. I am so close to something grand here in Karnaka. Called an experiment. With only a few moves, I could be inside the Duke's palace, running all of Sir Konos. Imagine that. One of the Isles, in full alignment with the Seven Strictures. It's not something you could know, but in my time I've been in the company of many members of your order, including two high overseers. Some were good men, some were not. So forgive me if I hesitate to fully embrace that thought. Careful what you say. The Abbey has a long memory. I assure you, if I get influence over this country, I will find a way to serve the Empire and the Abbey. Which is much more than you can say for Duke Luca Bell. But go in peace. For now. Okay, so the question is if uh, he's on our side or not. That's uh, that's really what we have to decide later on. Uh, the Jindosh Lock is 124 meters away. So he gave us some tips in part 8 about um, trying to break into it. Uh, let's, uh, let's head out here. Okay, okay. I'm not going to kill any of these guys. But, uh, for sure pickpocket them. Like this. Keep going out. Not even the lowliest uh, labor that is rigorous. Someone here. Muscles as a sponge. Rinsing impurities from the mind and body. Someone there. That's some money. I cover my face because we're all one brotherhood. Your reasons are less Hello? clear. It's uh, one way to kind of um, stock up on your health and everything while you're getting out of here. Um, all these people are kind of, all these overseers are on your side. Got a, let's have a look. Got the heart here. Just want to make sure we've got no bone charms that we're missing. Yeah. Okay. Got a couple over there, but let's uh, move on. Jindosh Lock is how many meters away? Oh. 146. Hmm. Did we pickpocket this guy already? 
Yeah, no, I don't. I think we did actually. Got some oh. coin. Just gonna take everything that we can see here. Gonna come in handy later on. Just gonna put the heart on here to uh, my wheel of opportunity. Okay, so maybe we can pickpocket this guy. Yeah, we can. We've taken all our shit. <laughs> That's one way to, um, to get your ammunition, ammunition up. As long as they don't catch you, you're okay. So, where are we going now? We're, okay, we've got, um, got a bone charm over there. And see if we can think through this window. Something of interest. Take this bone charm. Okay, so try not to stay too long in um, these kind of side missions of like bone charms because uh, just not going to get, um, not going to be able to get the mission done otherwise. So where is, uh, where are we supposed to go to next? Let's go back out here. Got another st uh, dust, dust storm. Okay, so, Jim Dash Lock is 98 meters away. Okay, so, I'm gonna go for Blink. Should have spat right in his eye. That's what I should have done. Next time, for sure. Let's see if we get out this way. Definitely hurt something. Better check. I'll keep away from these guys. Okay, so the lock is um, still not sure exactly if we can open it, but uh, I'm gonna check it out anyway. Who's running around over there? Okay, the heart is kind of going like crazy here. Got anything of interest? Got a room there, nine meters away. Take this room. The fuck out of here really quickly. Oh, bollocks. Take out these blood flies. Um, okay, let's get back down to the street. I don't want to spend too much time there. Oh, bollocks. Door is locked. These mosquitoes are blood flies, whatever you call them. They're, uh, they're mean dudes, that's for sure. Oh, there we are. Is it? No. Fuck. We get out of here. Okay, where's where did I come in from? That's the question. Is that okay, is it here? Oh we can get out this way. Hmm. Okay, let's go back. Back into the, into the area again, where the blood flies are. Okay, that's where we took the um, the rune from. Uh, okay, just uh, okay, it was here. Sorry about that, guys. It's a little bit um, difficult at times. Let's uh, go back onto. 
our main mission. Where is it? Let's see. Okay, so we've got a Jindash's lock. Let's see. It's over this way. Let's have a look at our infantry. Okay, so let's have a look and see if we can find the solution to Jindash's lock that we got from the Overseer. Um, okay, it's Lady Windsor Ring, Countess Conti, Bird, Baroness Finch, War Medal, Dr. Marcalo, Snuff Tin, Madame Natizio, whatever that is, Diamond. So let's, uh, let's see if we set that. So we've got two sets. I think it's Lady, what is it, Windsor? Whatever it is, Winslow, and then it's, uh, yeah, it's the wing, I think. And then we've got a uh, Conti bird. Bird, okay, and then what is it? It's Bar Finch. And then it's War Medal. And then it's, um, Marcolo, I think it is. And it's the Snuff Tin, so that's set. And then we'll sell, we'll, we'll, what's the next one? Nazio, Nazio and Diamond. There we go. That's opening up the, uh, lock. The information was correct. Okay, so we're going to go to Adamant's, uh, Stilton's Manor. 